Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Hope all of you can hear. Let me know if you can't hear, if you can't see me. And we can be slowly getting ready into the mood for some tips and tricks that I promised you from last week. Hopefully, you did some homework as well. All right. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Shanchi. Good to see you all back. How's everyone doing? Okay, it's not the same as last week where we had a back to normal. So we got to deal with that. Very tired, says Lim Chu Kian. All of us are, aren't we? That's why we need a weekend break from the Monday to Friday. But this week, this week was just short, wasn't it? Four days instead of five. But who cares, right? It's still tiring go to school, come back, have tuition, study, especially PSN. All right, very good. So I mean, that's why I'm here to support you every week. Hopefully, we can pass each other some kind of energy that will help us to move along. Okay, because it is going to be a tiring process. Look at the slides. Uh, are you all able to see the slides clearly without any anything blocking you? The whole screen, you can see the whole blue screen, which says two words on two lines. What are they? If you can see it, type to me so that I know you can see. Right, good. I can see that you are seeing what I'm seeing. Good. Okay, are we ready to go? Okay, so I decided to call this the advice. Okay, are we going to do any questions today? Yes, a little bit. I'm um, going to pull out two questions from last week that we left out. Those of you who have just joined us and not seen me last week, uh, we actually went through the whole paper of Mock 1. So if you have not done it and you have not had the chance to get the answers live from me last week, no problem. We had the recorded lessons online as well. Go and watch it after you have done the paper. For those of you who have already covered with me, what's your job now? be able to do more practice based on the advice given last week and today carry on doing i'll see you and at least during that mock two i need more people to have completed the whole paper and then you will i'm sure by then you'll be like so what what do they call it nervous that you want to do more paper already by now now you're like oh it's still august not even september yet oh, psle is in october but it's on the first day of october which is not far away okay and time flies so that's the little intro for those of you who didn't attend last week and those of you who have been with me since last week, okay? And I'm pulling out two questions from Mock 1 to actually have some tips and tricks such that I will guarantee that you will walk out of here with something that you will learn to be able to be put into practice throughout this PSLE, okay? To make sure you get the extra 10 marks that you may have lost without visiting me. Okay, without visiting me, you would have lost these 10 marks. But today, because you are here, you're going to get 10 to 15 marks easily. I'll tell you why later. And, and then all of you can tell me, yes, yes, this is very good advice. Okay, that's later. So why, why did I title this today's lesson the advice? Okay, because advice is free, usually. Uh, but whether you want to... accept it or not, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you to take the advice, right? I'm just coming here to tell you, these are the things that you should do. These are lose less marks. And then you, am I going to listen to this advice or not? That is to be put into practice for the next one month. So without further ado, let's quickly go away from here. Oh, let me also share that later when I'm done. You do not have to log out of this class. Just stay in the class and Miss Indra will come in with the English. Okay, you don't have to go out and come in again. Just stay here. Is that okay? All heard me loud and clear? Just stay here because it's going to be a short 40 minute session. We don't want you to go out and come back. Right? And then tomorrow you will see burn. Okay, all good? All right. Okay, let's see what we need to do today. For 10 minutes, I'm going to discuss the 
stuff that you are supposed to have been familiar with since P3. Okay, you should know what is going to come up in the exam in PSLE and then we're preparing you for it step by step, year after year. So if you go to the MOE website and have a look, right, and see what is the necessary skills that they actually want to test you in PSLE. Why is it that in school we learn all this and then in PSLE is always so hard? Why? Can they give us an exact statement of objective that they will say, okay, these are the things that the students must be familiar with, they must know, and you'll test on these things. Yes, they have done it. So it's on their syllabus website where you have to know these things, right? So I will go through this quickly. It's all there for everyone to see on the, it's a public domain where it's a public document where everyone can see what the PSLE is supposed to be about, okay? So you're supposed to have knowledge with understanding, okay? Students should be able to demonstrate knowledge and understanding. See, this is the key difference. Huh? A lot of you know something, but you don't understand something. So that's why when you get the homework, you type to your teacher, sir, I don't understand this. Although you know it, you know this is from animals, you know it's from living things, you know it's from light, you know it's from shadows. But then you don't understand. So there's a difference, knowledge versus understand. Okay, so once you understand, then things get easier. So understanding is the part where they, they like to ch check on whether you have gained this understanding or not. If you haven't, then you start losing marks or you don't know how to do. Okay, so once you understand, you know how to do. That's the difference. Number two, not a lot, uh, just a very short, only one page, this one. Application of knowledge and the process skills, students. Okay, you know something, you understand something, now you apply something. So this is the third thing you need to know, which is to apply. For example, you're given a table, where a leaf, a plant is growing and it's got 10 leaves and then another plant is growing and it's got 12 leaves. You're supposed to apply your knowledge of whatever you know about living things, photosynthesis, watering, respiration, and put them all together instead to answer what they may be asking you. So you should be able to apply the concepts and the facts and the principles to new situations. New, okay, underline the word new. If those of you who are copying it, you don't have to, I will put this up on the past lessons uh, PDF. So you can actually get this copy. But of course, if you're copying, no problem. You can underline the new situation. So you will be rest assured, like I said last week to every one of you, can guarantee you that when you sit into your PS, go into a PSLE hall and you sit for the paper, there will be questions, mostly 99.9% .9 you have never seen them in your life. Not in past year papers, not in assessment. Because like I said, the examiners sit down for a month or two to actually draw a question right out of their brain. So can you imagine if I take out a new question from my brain, it can't be that it was sitting on somebody else's brain for a while or it was in some assessment book because I'm doing this thing fresh. So that's why it's impossible, nearly impossible to find this question having done before. But having said that, you would have seen the facts, the table, you have done something like that just do something like that again and get a new answer. Similar to math, right? Similar to math. 5 plus 3 minus 2 or 5 plus 3 times 2. You know you know, you have to do the times first, then the minus. This is the fact or the principle or the concept. But it's not going to be always 5, 3 and 2. We just change the numbers. Okay? So these are the things that we need to take note of. And we need to be able to interpret information, including tables, diagrams, graphical pictures, everything that they show you, you will usually in science, right? A lot of pictures and tables and diagrams. Math, less of it. So your ability to actually interpret information from what is shown there is very, very critical, critical. I will show you one question later in exactly about 25 minutes from now. When you're going through that question, you'll be like, hey, my God. I actually have to look at the picture very carefully to know this. If I didn't see this question, you see what happened? If I didn't see this picture carefully enough, I would have lost two marks from here. And then you'll be thinking about your friends. My friend's name, Jane. Oh my God, Jane isn't very careful with her pictures. I think she will surely miss this part. But luckily I saw it. I'm going to get the two marks. After the exam, you go to Jane quickly. Hey Jane, did you see you know, in the picture, they told you that this part, is important, you know, you're supposed to write this in the in the answer. Did you write? She's like, oh no, I didn't see the picture carefully. Oh, I only saw the question, I didn't see the picture. The picture had this, uh, oh, 
Yeah, then you are the one who spotted it, but your friend Jane didn't spot it. So she's lost two marks unnecessarily. Why? The picture has a lot of information you are required to pick up. All right. Okay. So please take note of that. We'll be looking at an example of that. So finally, give some time to look at these seven words and see if you are familiar with all these seven, what it means. 